Hello classy people, how y'all doing? Wayne Bolden here at the Speed King Channel. On Friday, federal prosecutors uh, filed their sentencing report with the judge for Jorge Navarro. Of course, former trainer, everybody has heard that Navarro, probably in March of 2020, uh, got caught for juicing and uh, illegal drugs, illegal pee. PEDs, uh, performance enhancing drugs, and his sentencing is uh, was filed on Friday. Um, and I pulled it off of uh, the legal website, and I'll put the link down there so you could be able to go read it. And it is just absolutely fascinating in terms of the length of what people would do, or some people, in this case, Jorge Navarro, better known as the Juice Man would do to enhance for what the prosecutor says greed, fame, and money. Uh, one of the striking things in the prosecutor's report as I read different accounts, text messages, phone calls that Navarro and others had over the years, it is just absolutely fascinating. And also in the report there was a, apparently he had a pair of clogs which are like you know, uh, flip-flops in the barn area that had Juice Man on it. I actually also downloaded it right there, right? So, the Juice Man, wow, you know? And another one, he had a GIF where, uh, a GIF where uh, the emoji was a syringe uh, being pulled back with dollars in it, you know, in the tube. And it's just a fascinating read. And I wanted our community to weigh in and see what your thoughts are. Uh, obviously, quite a few horses had died in Mr. Havar uh, Navarro's care. Uh, one that we may know, XY Jet, I know that horse. And um, I just want to read some of this to you that's in here. I'll put a link down there so you can go and read, you know, the prosecutor's um, you know, following, uh, you know, it's just amazing. Uh, the case against former trainer uh, Jorge Navarro filed its sentencing report uh, to the judge on Friday. Uh, the maximum uh, that Navarro could receive is five years in prison. Now, he is from Panama. He probably will be deported as well. It goes on to say uh, that Navarro's uh, greed and corruption at every level of the professional game that the trainer went through great, great extremes to dope the horses and to it, that was under his care. Um, it is uh, all kinds of stuff in here acknowledging it, that Navarro never acknowledged the seriousness of the crime along with him and very, very many people who had to conspire to make it happen from grooms to assistants to owners. I mean, the implications, the names that's in this here report that the prosecutor filed is, wow. It reads like a who's who. Um, let me see if I can find something else in here. Uh, yes, Navarro earned tens of millions of dollars by winning uh, horse racing for owners and trainers for banned, for missed banned performance enhancing drugs, better known as PEDs, blood builders, uh, SGF 1000, baking soda, drenches, blood, blood pills, all which were not approved by the FDA. And his eagerness to use racehorses under his cares to test the potency and, uh, uh, and display a potential um, carelessness, disregard for the well-being of horses that was in his care. These different drugs or unlawful schemes included the use and believed to be undetested by racing officials that they couldn't detect it because he used something they called a milkshake or something, I don't know, uh, here. Uh, the report by the government just continues to go on and on. 
I have text messages that they obviously embedded into uh, the case where he has had several, several conversations with other trainers, people on the backside, uh, security guards who knew what was going on and nobody said anything. So it was a big, big conspiracy that went on and on. So I, like I said, I'll put the link down there. I wanted our community to weigh in. Thank God that, you know, he got caught. I mean, we don't wish that on anybody other than you're doing something illegal and you're hurting animals, right? Our equine animals. So his sentencing is coming up, I believe, very shortly. I think around the 17th of December. And um, Mr. Jorge or George Navarro and several, several others will be uh, being, you know, sought after by the feds, you know, so, and uh, it, it's a, just a fascinating, fascinating read once you get involved and look at uh, how he administrated all the people that were involved in having this operation, which was a vast operation for years of illegal doping of horses. You know, this wasn't like a one-off or a one-time deal. I mean, they had a full-blown operations on how to uh, administer it, how to disguise it, or what they call mis misbrand the packaging so no one on the backside would know. Uh, there was uh, security guards, from my understanding, from the report that were uh, a part of it, or the hush-hush, and of course, um, the owners who wanted to win at all costs, not all owners, just some of them, I, I would assume. And, you know, there a lot, a lot of names are sitting here in this report, which is public record, by the way, and rightly so. So, again, I wanted our community to weigh in. Tell me what your thoughts are. Um, I'm glad to see that, you know, uh, uh, he will be taken care of or dealt with legally. Uh, due process wise and that most of all the horses are no longer being injured or hurt uh, by uh, trainers uh, that do things like this right or in any other aspect of life or, or whatever so again just uh, weigh in let us know what you think uh, about this I know there's a couple others that was indicted uh, back in March of 2020 uh, we're not going to mention their names here, but we'll let the legal process play out the way that it should, like it did in Jorge Navarro's case here, and see where it goes from here. Um, as we talk about these things all the time, I do believe a governing body is uh, not the answer, but I believe it's a good start. Uh, where we could protect uh, the horses first and foremost and um, the integrity of the game and the public perception because as you know it's horses and animals involved so you know people love the horses and their dogs and their cats and rightly so and they're very protective the public who may not, not necessarily like racing or do racing and I agree these animals are you know, beautiful animals and they should be taken care of properly and not used uh, as a prop for money, fame, or anything else. So there it is, Jorge Navarro, uh, doping trainer, right, Mr. Juice Man, as they said uh, on the uh, uh, paperwork for following. Tell me what you think. I wanted our community, as always, to... Uh, weigh in and do it classy with uh, dialogue and have a healthy discussion on the health of our, our sport and we do it with class and dignity and, and not belittle each other or anyone else as far as that goes. So there it is folks, let me know, Jorge Navarro, sentencing, probably going to get five years and probably deported back to Panama. Please let me know, stay classy and most of all, have a great, great weekend folks.